What's going on? Today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. We're going to do kind of a recap, but this is going to be my five best bass catches of the 2020 Bassmaster Elite Series. Caught some of these on some really cool baits. Had some big fish and some big moments that kind of changed the course of the entire year and definitely changed the course of the entire tournament. So, as y'all can see, sitting here in front of the Christmas tree, Hunter loves showing off her Christmas tree. So she's going to set me up in front of this Christmas tree at every single chance she gets. So that's why I'm in front of the Christmas tree right now and not outside. But this is going to be a pretty cool one. These are some really important fish catches. Really shaped my first year on the Bass Master Elite Series. And without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. All right, we're going to count down to the most memorable fish of 2020. So this right here is number five. It is on day four, Bassmaster Elite Series on Lake Gunnersville. I was actually flipping a missile bait to D bomb, a little creature bait with a half ounce weight and a four alt gamakatsu straight shank flipping hook up in some you know isolated lay down on you know kind of a bluff bank, a little bit of current coming around it. And basically I flipped in there, set the hook, fish came straight up to the surface. It was like almost a six pounder. It weighed 513 officially on the Bassmaster scales. But the cool thing about that fish was it made me feel like I actually had a chance from then on to win the Bass Master Lisa Reese. So I felt like if I could just catch two, three and a half pounders, three and a half or four pounders the rest of that day, I would have been able to, you know, win that tournament. And then getting back and seeing the results, I realized I needed 17 pounds on that final day. I caught 13. So I needed to cull up by four pounds and I had one almost six pounds and two fish. That was a pound and a quarter. So a really big fish catch that put me in position where I actually could have won that tournament. Another cool, cool thing about that fish is it actually spit up a spotted bass in my live well. Like an eight, nine inch spotted bass that actually regurgitated it in my live well and spit it up. First time I've ever had a bass spit up another bass. So pretty cool fish catch. Down to Kyle Welcher now, uh, down at the bottom of the lake. He just popped into service. He'd been in a little bit of a, a difficult spot. And as he popped in just moments ago. How about day four? That's what happened. Wow. I flipped in there and it went donk. About as analytical Woo! as you can get, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't get fired up till day four. It just went dunk. Oh my God! Thank you, Lord. Woo! Dude, there, he could have went so many different ways. He came straight up. Uh, thank you. <laughs> he could have went down, left, right, either way, but he came up. <laughs> Evidently, he caught him out of a lay down. Mm. Maybe had he Look gone a different direction, <laughs> got him hung up. That's got him five. Put him as a five. <laughs> That's a begging. You can keep your waypoints now. <laughs> yes! Wow. That fish. Put two bites, we'll win. In second. Let's bring through an Alabama hammer. This is a young pro you want to keep your eyes on, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube sensation from Alabama, Kyle Welcher. He's got five fish all alive. Looking for 17 pounds, six ounces, 13 one. Frank the Tank is your leader, and Kyle Welcher moves into second place. But let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bright young star. But I don't need to tell you that, Alabama. Everybody knows what this young angler has ahead of him. And uh, Kyle, I mean, I, I don't want to blow your head up, but but I really, like I've said all year long, I'm incredibly impressed. Uh, you know, you, you, you're leading Phoenix Boats Big Bass with a 513, but I've been incredibly impressed with not just your technical abilities. It, it's your, the way you think is, is so rare, and, and it really is the thing that seems to stand out in this tournament. Everybody that kind of is in this position, they, they moved and they changed with the fish, but it's mind-boggling how you're able to just say i'm not doing that that got me here and just totally change things that stuff we normally see from from pros that are twice your age yeah you know to me that's just normal that's the way i fish i always i call it keeping everything honest number four on the countdown day one late gunnersville bass master league series i caught a 6 11 on the untamed tackle ace jig that is going to be released in january it's going that's an awesome jig and that was the first bass i believe that i caught in competition on that thing was a 611 that is unbelievable i pitched it up in some current let it sink down a little bit 
and caught a 611 upriver on Gunnersville. So extremely cool fish catch. The reason it's not a you know more pivotal fish catch is because it didn't really change the momentum of the tournament. I already had probably 15 and a half, 16 pounds that day. And that fish just called me up another three pounds to get me to 19 instead of 16. So I already had a really good bag. I already was doing really well in the tournament. But then I caught that fish and called again 611 on a bait that I designed. That's an extremely cool fish catch. Didn't get a great you know video of it, but still a really cool fish catch. It meant a lot to me this year. Yeah, get this, by the way. You gotta get a picture of this jig, man. Jig in his mouth. It's a prototype jig I just made. Oh, sweet. Give me some. Hell yeah. We're gonna be good now. You damn screw. I, I got a good bag. Yeah, we didn't even make it to the bottom. Come on. <laughs> Look out for this guy. Five fish here today. 19 pounds, five ounces. 19.5 and Kyle Welcher is your brand new leader. 19 pounds, five ounces. Couldn't weigh that one for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Current leader, 8.6. Still leading with 8.6 Saldane. That one's six pounds, 11 ounces. And welcome home, Kyle Welcher. Here's one that was, you know, a giant fish. It's just by, it's such a big bass that it had to be one of my top five fish catches of the year. I skipped. A little you know Texas rig stick worm underneath a dock with a brush pile on it on Santee Cooper set the hook into a seven pound two ounce bass it was another one of those fish where everything just went right set the hook on it the fish didn't wrap me around any poles he swam straight out the dock pretty much and you know came beside the boat just wallered his head a little bit on the surface I was able to grab and put him in the boat he was a seven two so that catapulted me up on day two I already had a good bag going into that tournament you know on day one I think I caught like almost 14 pounds on day two I caught 14 and a half pounds with a 7.2 that had me in good position to have a really good event there. And a 7.2, just a big, big fish in the fall. Really cool fish. You know, I caught it on a 7 foot 3 heavy, point blank, you know, rod with all Fuji rod components, SK2 reel seat, and titanium guides. That's just one of my favorite rods and reels to catch a fish on. So it's really cool. That's a very pivotal fish for me, you know, because it helped me, you know, secure. I had a really good points finish going to the end of the year because I had to, I was able to string together those three good tournaments on Guntersville, Santee, and then Chickamauga. So that Santee big one really helped. Stay on there, bitch. How about that one, baby? There's a fiver. And the young fishing phenom continues to drop bombs on her scales. Let's get a weight on that. I believe we have a new Phoenix Boats Big Bass for the day, at least, anyways. Seven pounds, two ounces, seven to a new Phoenix Boats Big Bass of the day. Okay, so this is one of the most pivotal fish, even though it was only a six pounder. On Lake Ufala in Alabama, Lake, I have a ton of, of uh, experience on, a lot of confidence fishing. On day one, the wheels kind of fell off. Everything that I tried, all the fish I had shaken off in practice, I went to them and I couldn't get a bite. I hit like 15 brush piles in two hours, couldn't get a bite. Nothing was going right. Had two fish in the live well, had like a two and a half and then a three and a half in the live well. And it was like 11 o'clock in the day. I rolled down to you know some scattered grass with cypress trees on the south end of the lake. I skip a spro frog underneath the cypress tree and I catch a six pounder, the exact same fish I caught in practice. This fish is extremely important, extremely cool because I caught the same exact fish in practice. I have YouTube footage of that and I have footage from me catching in the tournament. It's the exact same fish. And another thing is it was 11 o'clock and I had two bass in a Bass Smash Elite Series. I was able to catch that six pounder and then go catch another three and a half and another five, end up weighing in. 20 and a half or 21 pounds that day. I can't remember the exact what I had, but I had like 20, 20 and a half pounds, I think. I think I had 20 pounds, six ounces is what I had officially. So that fish got the momentum back going. It put me, you know, in position where if I could just catch a couple more bass, I'd have a really good tournament. So I caught that six pounder, got everything back rolling, and we had a really good event on Lake Eufaula for Bass Bears Lee Cherie. So that fish was huge as far as changing the momentum and a really cool story because I also caught that fish in practice. So just all around a really cool fish catch.
what I know about that. 20 pounds and three The number one fish catch of the 2020 Bassmaster Elite Series, there is no doubt what it has to be, the 10 pounder from St. John's River that my Marshall Les Cook, gotta give a huge shout out to him because that is phenomenal camera work he did with an iPhone that's unbelievable. He captured me catching that 10 pounder from the St. John's River. It's been one of the most watched view videos of the year as far as Bassmaster goes. They replay it all the time. Just an awesome fish catch. Catapulted my career a lot. Let a lot of people that didn't know about me find out about me because that thing happened. You know, it is just a huge fish catch. And not even to mention, on day one of St. John's River last year, I started in water I'd never seen before, caught a couple fish, didn't have another bite till 12 o'clock. Same thing happened on day two. I ran to all the best water I thought I had from day one, fished it all, and at 12 o'clock, I think I had two or three little really small bass that in the last couple hours I was able to catch a 10 pounder, catch a three and a half pounder, and I you know, caught another two, and then I lost a six and a four all in the last two hours. But really pivotal fish catch because that 10 pounder made me have a top 10 at St. John's River, and it just kind of catapulted my career, gave me so much exposure. It was just a huge fish catch, and it was a dang 10 pounder in a Bass Link Series event, so that's always gonna be special. So that is my top five best fish catches of the year. Hope you all enjoyed that clip. We're going to probably do some more videos like this, just kind of talking about my mindset and the way that I was thinking, you know, through some of these things. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment if y'all like hearing me kind of recap and tell what I was thinking and what I was doing in those events. So appreciate you guys watching and we'll see y'all in the next one. baby holy crap what Woo! what whoa Woo! give me some dude. <laughs> damn we fishing tomorrow now that worked how big was that one eight pounder not ten pounder i have no idea <laughs> I mean, put it in there as an eight. Hey, I don't I'll, know. I'll put it in as eight. That's my biggest fish I ever caught in my life. Are you serious? Yeah, I, my biggest fish is an eight nine, and that's I think it's bigger. Put it in there as an eight. eight All I don't right. know. Like I have no idea. That oh might be a big bass God. today. How big was the big bass yesterday? Six something, right? I ain't got a clue, but I think that was a nine pounder yesterday. Oh, no shit. Well, we're idling back in now. I didn't show you all that giant whenever I caught it. I think it's the biggest fish I've ever caught. So we're about to get over here, let Hunter see, pull him out of the bag. It's gonna be pretty cold way in right now. Oh my god! 11-13 yesterday and look out, looking for 21-3 to take the lead in his first Elite Series event. 20 pounds, 12 ounces! Seven ounces short of the overall lead, but with 32 pounds, nine! Biggest one of the day, seven pounds, two ounces, not anymore. Um, and the biggest one overall for the tournament, nine, two. Let's find out.